Okay, uh, Peter Fletcher here um, with hunting for Star Wars and the Grey Jedi and uh, from, let's see, Teresa, ooh, uh, Teresa Bassett, um, I snacked up a uh, white standard TIE fighter, a uh, little unboxing video here, and um, yeah, um, nope. I got my uh, pit bull below me. You can't see him. Uh, little Barnabas, Barnabas Collins. Uh, he was trying to grab the paper. I'll show you here. Uh, he's a little foster guy. He, we're looking for a home for him. Uh, that's another story. Um, anyway, uh, Barnabas Collins, Barney. Um, so. I don't know, just, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research about the springs on this. Uh, I've got a TIE Interceptor. I've got Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. And someone was saying, oh, because, you know, it has the, uh, the springs here in the back. Um, it's first generation. And I'm like, and I saw this one for a smoking deal. I'm not gonna say even how smoking, but we got our battery cover and, um, I can't even remember if this thing works or not. I'll put some batteries in it later. But so far, you know, um, you know, and from the pictures, it looked like it was in decent shape. Um, again, I'm one to just say, to hell with it. It, it. it doesn't have the stickers on it. And I'm I'm just gonna do some repro stickers. Sorry for all you fan base purists out there. You know, I can't afford a uh a minty minty vintage uh tie fighter for you know five hundred dollars or whatever and i'm gonna resurrect this one and i'll put some sort of weird tagging on it that says that it's got you know reproduction but it, they've been cleaned off that's cool um they're totally squeaky clean and they're not any uh, residue or anything and uh yeah i mean uh find the little little no knobs here and uh yeah uh hope they're in here i'm gonna have to hunt a little further okay not there um <laughs> okay it's a treasure hunt and i'm hoping to god they're in here good thing i grabbed away that first piece from the dog um Oh, okay, I feel them. Yay! I think I feel something here. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't let the dog run off with uh, that piece. Okay, there's number one. Um, uh, there's number two. Uh, uh. Oh, uh -huh. ooh, these things are sneaky. Okay, number two, um, and I can definitely see right off the bat, like I've had some other ones that were in way worse condition right here. I've, you know, even though these things were durable as all get out, a little bit of weirdness on that one right there. And yeah, okay, so this video is already getting way too long. Let's see if the springs work, yep. And uh, that's another, you know, common problem that works. Wow, good springage there. Oh, yeah. Money, get you in the hole. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to assume this 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 is working good. And um, I'll, you know, tune you guys in later. That fits in perfectly because I have another Dodge Fader TIE Fighter. And it is, it is not, it does not fit in here perfectly anymore someone gummed it up or tried to glue in there so yeah for a song and a dance you know i will take this tie fighter we'll see if down the road okay are the the ones with the uh springs in them or i'll look and see if i have ones more with, you know major electrodes um but uh here i have a dark vader tie fighter um this was the problem child right here um Let's see, and I, yeah, this one does, yeah, this one does have a spring. I mean, this, you know, again, was 
put out probably the same time as this one. I mean, a little bit after. I mean, this was one of the first ones to come out. You know, the X-Wing and the, 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 the TIE Fighter. I will um, do a follow-up video and let you know if um, the uh, TIE Interceptor has that or not. Okay, cheers.